Welcome, welcome, Minecrafters, to Medieval Minecraft, episode 57. It's a beautiful sunrise here just outside of Emeraldville, and today we're going to look at an epic build. It's a cathedral just outside of Emeraldville, and it's totally survival friendly. There is not a single spawnable block in this entire build. So everything up here is half slabs or stairs or fence posts. I use a little bit of lighting, but mostly it's just all non-spawnable blocks. And we are up here about, oh gee, we're about 50 blocks up from the ground down there. We're standing about, I think we're at around a level uh, 120 in the ground down there. Is it about 70? So that just tells you how tall this thing is. And underneath the top of this thing is a little bit of redstone. I'm not going to really get into how that redstone works, but I will show you the functionality of it. So right underneath me, I'm standing here on half slabs. There's a little layer underneath here that controls some some uh, pistons and we're gonna cruise over here you can see how high we are we're gonna jump off the top of this thing using our elytra try to give you a look at this and as I after I take off I think what I'm gonna do is slow the video down a little bit let me get rid of the map there so you get a good look at what's going on we'll cruise out here we'll turn around I'll slow the video down and it'll give you a good look at the back side of this so here we can see we have two wings on either side of a main sanctuary and that tall tower up in the center. I've got a lot of flying buttresses around this thing in the medieval ages. Flying buttresses were used to transfer the load to hold the walls up, okay? So I've made those in this case out of mossy cobblestone and mossy cobblestone fencing. And you can see that I use a lot of the mossy cobblestone around the outside of this build. I think it adds a little bit of color and texture and depth to the build. Over here on the left, the hill kind of slopes down away to the water, and so I had to make some large foundations for the buttresses to uh, go into. The roofing material is all made out of nether brick stairs or nether brick half slabs. The crosses in the windows are all made from iron blocks. I tried a bunch of different uh, kinds of blocks, and I really like the iron. I put lapis in the center on the bottom. And then I use glowstone up on the top. I just like the light up a little bit higher. And it looks uh, rather nice in the evening. So I'll try to give you maybe a shot of this thing at night. I got to do a lot of uh, landscaping out here. So I still have a lot more work to do. I just kind of uh, cut it off and, and protect it out the other side of the cathedral. So out here it's kind of exposed. Holy cow. Speaking of that. Oh my. Dude, I, you know, I'm just trying to show the cathedral off here. Can you just... Uh, no, you're, you're determined to take a bite out of us. No, and you've even actually poisoned me. You are just... It's not happening, dude. He's toast. Okay. Well, let's uh, put a little armor on here and protect ourselves in case something else like that comes up. Yeah, I still have a lot of uh, landscaping to do out on this side to protect it all out, but you can kind of see what it looks like here. Let's run around over here. I use the standard way that I have been... Uh, protecting out my village here and everything with this, these low walls. I like to use the low wall like this with lava around it because it makes it so it's easy to see out. And I've built a, quite a few of these ways to get in here. But you can see what this wall in the end looks like. It's a little bit more narrow than the rest of the wing. And you can see where we use a lot of this uh, mossy cobblestone. I also use the mossy stone brick blocks right there. There's a stair down there, obviously. You don't want anything spawning in there, and I wanted to cover up the redstone, so I used stairs for that. So you can see we're coming around the front of this thing right now. Let me uh, maybe jump up on this wall right here and give you a slightly better look at it. I used all blue glass because it just looked better. I tried all kinds of different glass, and the blue glass looked better. Now, the secret to this thing is it's very modular. You see what I'm pointing out right now? This design right here, I used approximately 32 times in this build. So it's just repeated. Now I tried to make it so that it didn't look like it was repeated all across it, okay? But you can see it's basically the same thing making this whole wing, the lower part and the upper part. Down here in the lower part, these are stairs, basically facing up and then stairs flipped around the other way. So that's how I made that. Now just as we walk around the build, you'll see that a lot. Okay, so that's how I connected up the, uh, the flying buttresses into the building there like that. And then I wrung it out with a lot of the mossy cobblestone around there. And then over here, I used 
nether uh, wither skulls to uh, make like gargoyles. I was thinking of using these a lot more. I've got stacks and stacks of these, but that's the only place I really found that it looked really nice. And then I lit this whole area up here. I was kind of worried about something spawning on those blocks up there above that, but there's enough light so that nothing spawns up there. And then you can see I used the same cross concept up there. Outstanding. And it just, this, uh, basically that wing down there looks exactly like the wing we just walked down. So now let's go inside and take a look at this. These entry doors here are legitimate Minecraft doors. So the villagers do come in here mostly at night. Got some diamond blocks down here. And I put these beacons down because even when they're not lit, they give off enough light to make it so that nothing will spawn on top of the diamonds. Now, I've got half slabs all around the floor in here. So nothing spawning in here. It's all quartz and stone half slabs all around on the floor, except in the main sanctuary. Now, before I let the villagers in here, I spawned in an iron golem just in case there, there happened to be a spawnable block that I forgot about in here, but uh, I don't think he's uh, found anything. So over here in the sanctuary, I thought it looked best to use these dark oak um, stairs and in order to do that I had to make everything down here a full block so I put glowstone down under this entire area underneath all the carpeting including underneath the stairs so it's lit up enough so that nothing will spawn anywhere in here and then I figured that in Minecraft we'd be worshiping the end so I put end crystals floating up here very very careful about using end crystals if I ever have to move one of those things I'll blow up the entire end of this <laughs> this cathedral over here, I put an enchanting table. I think it's kind of cool. You walk over next to it and the book opens. And we can uh, read from the scripture of Minecraft here. And then on the other side over here, since we're worshiping the end, I put an ender chest in. Let's see if we can figure out how to open this thing up in the third person. That'll be kind of interesting. There we go. Yes, there it is. Okay, so yeah, ender chest over here. Some ender dragon eggs on each side of the altar here, and some ender dragon heads just to decorate out the wall. I used uh, sconces just for, it just looked better to have a little bit of light along the edge, and I used iron blocks in those. It just looked better. I tried emeralds and gold. You can see how I made these uh, walls. I used this same pattern here four times in here, and then I used it, uh, let's see, four more times uh, on the ends of each of these uh, hallways down here now let's go around here and uh i'll show you uh, a little how the redstone works that was up on the top i've just got a redstone tower going up so i just flick that switch right there and it turns the beacons on and i made these uh you know the pyramid underneath the beacons is the maximum size i actually built this in first so that when i did the whole build i had jump boost and haste and speed and all that kind of stuff now down here, this first hallway, I basically made this a tribute to the knights because if you remember when I started this medieval Minecraft quite a long time ago, it was the quest to knighthood. So we have the armor from knights of the past. So this first one over here on the right is, I think this is uh, that's Joan of Arc. Okay, a young knight. She was actually canonized back in her time. And then, of course, in the back here, we've got to have our buddy King Richard the Lionheart. He helped us figure out how to be a knight way back in one of the early episodes in this series. And then the way I made it so that this area here was lit up is I just put down some uh, redstone lamps, put some switches underneath them. I used iron trap doors here, and of course, they'll close when you power it. And that's how we made the little stands for the armor for the knights of the past. Now these blocks here are polished and a site, but I put cobblestone down underneath this the entire floor under this whole build because I made a few things down underneath it. I'll show you that in a little while. So William Marshall and Edward the Black Prince of Wales, outstanding. I used uh, the emerald to put the other armor stands on, and you can see how we made all the chandeliers and everything. I did those a couple of different ways before I figured out what I thought was. Uh, relatively nice. I think what I'm going to do here is pillar up with some of this netherrack. When I was doing this build, I used netherrack all the time. This is kind of like my way of building a scaffolding. So we're just going to cruise up. I'll show you what the uh, upper part of this looks like, what the ceiling looks like. So I use these iron bars to hang the chandeliers on. And these are the blocks that I used to make the support structure across the uh, top of this. 
And I'm just gonna fill it up real quick here to show you what the ceiling looks like. I took the iron bars all the way up to the top just for fun. So there is a little bit of detail up here. It looks kind of cool. Let me throw down a torch. Oh, obviously, I can't put one there. I got the, full, it's the only full block is right here. So, of course, nothing can spawn up here because we got the iron bar in the top. And then we got the half slabs all around above these struts. Now, I was originally thinking of making the roofing material out of wood stairs. I tried all the uh, different kinds of wood, and I just really liked the nether brick. I just thought it looked better. So, the whole roof is all, like we said before, nether brick. And then... Behind me, there is actually uh, full nether brick blocks over here. Uh, just the half slabs didn't fit very well in there. So that's one of the reasons I put that light right there. It makes it so that nothing can spawn on that. I'm spending a lot of time talking about how to make this thing survival friendly. That was kind of the most fun for me. The challenge was to make it so nothing spawned in here. So let's cruise down here and look at the other wing. You know, if anybody has any other ideas of what I could do to decorate this out, I just threw this together recently. I haven't done much decorating down here. So I put in this rack of candles because, you know, most cathedrals have a place to light candles. I do recall a rack of candles like this when I visited Notre Dame in Paris quite a few years ago. Here's a quick look at the uh, walls down here. You can see I used the same kind of pattern there that we use in the main sanctuary to do that, those walls. I've got a polished door right there, and then the polished uh, anisite there. And then underneath these, just to make it so that the, uh, the checkerboard pattern looked like it carried up into the pillars, I threw down some light in there, and you get a little bit less light coming out through the full stair than you get through the stairs on the corner, so that's how we did that. Certainly, uh, there's a lot of quartz in this build. I had to go to the nether a couple times to gather a quartz, and all the, the nether roofing took me a little bit of a while, but actually the hardest thing to do, I think it took me the most time to do in this build, was collecting up the vines, because all the mossy cobblestone took a lot of time. Every single one of these mossy blocks up here and all around this build, those are the, uh, I was just talking about those nether brick blocks out there, but all this mossy stone and everything, each one of them takes a vine. So I spent a lot of time out in the jungle collecting up vines. So now I want to head down into the catacombs underneath our cathedral here. And this area is really pretty functional. I made it kind of look really rustic down here. But I built this before I even started most of the upper build because I wanted an area where I could collect up some resources while I was doing the build. I was obviously going to spend a lot of time around here. So I made it kind of dark and, and a little bit rustic in here. Let me throw down a couple of torches so you guys can see what's going on. And then up over here, I made some, some spawning blocks to collect up some creepers. I really wanted gunpowder. So in here, there is, each of these is seven blocks long. Oh, you can see there's a creeper in there right now. Each of those is seven blocks long. I got the magma cubes underneath them. At the end of them, I've got those cactus down there. And above the spawning blocks, I've got the trap doors so that we only get creepers spawning in here. Well, I thought I was only going to get creepers. It turns out that we also get skeletons spawning in here. Now, the great thing is, though, is as soon as they start to range, as soon as they start to walk, they fall right off because it's only seven blocks long. They can't walk anywhere in there without just dropping off. So here's uh, where they're coming down right now. now. I haven't really decorated this area out very much yet. I just made this kind of functional. So you can see, since we've been walking around doing this little video, We've collected up a few of these guys, and they're just getting processed through here. This is a sorting area. I got cats on the on the left and dogs on the right, so the cats scare the creepers off to the uh, to the right, and the skeletons go over to the left here and up into a water ladder. Now, when you put the cats down, I tried putting the cats down to half slabs. It didn't really work. They don't. They're not too friendly with half slabs. So I put them on top of a a full block. The dogs are sitting down there on half slabs. And the creepers are going over here, and they're just standing on the rest of the magma cubes and getting uh, burned up. So this is all the gunpowder that I've collected up during this build. See, it's been uh, pretty uh, pretty useful. So like I said earlier, I put uh, cactuses down at the end of those little spawning rows. And uh, since they're next to the, hap the uh, trap doors, they pop off when they grow, fall in the water stream, and flow down over here. It's kind of a side resource that I do 
was able to generate with this thing. And I put the magma cubes down underneath everything here, the magma blocks, so that uh, these guys would take damage while they were flowing down over here. And I tried to make it so that the skeletons got to be uh, almost exactly at a one-hit kill. It was a little hard to do that. And then when they drop in here, this is actually a little uh, XP generator. So I've got some dogs in here, and this is my little AFC point right here. And the skeletons will spawn in, the dogs will take a bite out of them, and we'll get a little bit of XP. And this is how I was repairing my tools, because a lot of my tools have bending on them. So that's what I was doing uh, when I was uh, not working on the build. I just leave my character down here, and we get a little bit of XP. So let's go back over here and run down, take a look at where all the spawning blocks are. I've got rows and rows of them running down here. This basically runs the length of the uh, the little area upstairs, that hallway that had all the, the armor from the knights in it. And it just cruises back down over here. I did not put magma cubes, magma blocks underneath the center of this because I wanted all these guys to have a similar damage when they got down. So once they, when they spawn in, they do drop onto some magma blocks and then they flow down that area there and then I've got more magma blocks down on the other end so they take about the same amount of damage when they're going down through here and I just got half slabs I'm standing on so I didn't really need to light this place up I leave it unlit so we maximize the yield in this uh, grinder slash XP generator I do have half slabs uh, down underneath there where the skeletons are coming in with hoppers underneath them and a sorter I, you know, I could do an entire video on uh, just this XP generator slash grinder so if you have any interest in that or you want to learn more about how to build this cathedral, just put a note in the uh, comment section. Let me know and I could do uh, real detailed tutorials on how to put this build together. That would be a lot of fun. Well, I think I'll put a wrap on this video now. Doing this build in survival and making it totally survival friendly has been a blast for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Wes, and I'm signing out.